Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 Wii Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at You Are Mr. Gear or Super Mario Galaxy, whatever you want to call it really. It's personal preference. If you've never played the game before, it's basically the third um, 3D Mario platformer, so if you've ever played 64 or Sunshine, then rest assured that this one is a hell of a lot better and fixes almost every single problem that the other two have done. It's no secret that I'm not particularly a fan of the first two. This one, I think, is almost perfect. It's absolutely brilliant. But there's tons of stuff at the start, so I'm just going to cut into one of the files that I have actually got fully completed. So there will be spoilers about how many galaxies and the likes are in some of the galaxies, just simply because that way I can show off the game properly rather than the start, which, to be fair, takes a little, get, a little bit to get going. So there we go. This is the uh, this is the, basically the completed hub. This is the outer world. You've got um, you've got this little toad guy over here who every now and then gives you a letter from Princess Peach that'll give you some lives, which is uh, pretty nice of her. If, obviously you can decline them if you want to, but it is still pretty nice of her. Unfortunately, it does make the game a little bit easier because it means that lives aren't exactly anything hard to come by because they're all over the hub and you can just go and speak to that guy. When you start the game, you've just got this section over here that's there, uh, basically you can go to. Everything else has been shut down, the whole story is all the power stars are gone, blah blah blah, everything's shut down, you can't do a damn thing. So you start just in here, so I'm going to show you the uh, first galaxy sets, just simply because it's what you're going to be getting right at the start. But at the same time, the, I will show you some of the later on ones, which personally I think look fantastic. There's quite a few stars as you can see per galaxy. The most though you can uh, you can get on one galaxy I believe is seven. So it's pretty good how it works because one of the major problems about uh, 64 was having to replay a level again and again and again. This, the way Galaxy works, it's very rare that you actually have to replay the same level because when you put the game on, each star is pretty much a different part of the galaxy. It siphons off part of the levels that you just can't go to until you've got another star. So you can end off going on a galaxy and playing it three times over for all three stars and thinking you've played three different levels just for one thing. So it's really well how that works. Overall there's uh, 120 stars to get on the normal game and then there's also 40, uh, 41 galaxies. When you unlock the super secret Luigi mode, which again I did say there will be spoilers, with Luigi if you manage to get all 120 stars you get 121 stars because you get an extra galaxy that opens up and you get to go there and go and get the star basically, it's a purple coin challenge. The whole point of the game though is being a Mario platformer, you've got your energy there which appears in the top right corner, you've now only got three hits, although while everyone says that would make the game harder, it still isn't all that hard. You can get super mushrooms that give you up to six hits, so they come in handy on certain boss modes. Um, these little stars that constantly come out, basically you can run into them or just point to them with a wee zapper to get them. Um, and basically, they're, well, they're ammo and coins at the same time, because if you push the B button you can fire them, so you can activate certain things and knock certain things about or you can just actually use them as currency to open up other galaxies when you're outside and onto the main hub. So that's about that then. The controls of the game, you've not only do you have like your jump attack basically where you just jump on people, you can now do a little bit of a spin. And the spin is pretty much the whole point of the game as well, because when you're in the stars, you do a spin and then it takes you over to the next galaxy. And, well, next planet on the galaxy, to be fair. This is this is basically how it manages to keep the game so fresh after you've played it for, like, six or seven hours, because it's very rare that you're replaying a section of a galaxy. Every now and then, comets will appear, and basically the comets mean that you have to replay a star with a certain parameter on it, which then means that you, you are actually replaying the galaxy, but even so, something's different about it. Like, for example, there could be defeat a boss when you've only got one piece of energy or there could be defeat a galaxy in under two minutes so it's just daft stuff like that being a Mario platformer pretty much every star there's similarities to the stars but at the same time it's very rare that you're doing similar things if you know what I mean so there's ones where you will just have to collect a few items to get a star to appear there's ones where you'll have to kill a certain enemy there's ones where you'll just have to find it so it's pretty cool how it works that way the game is absolutely massive and I really hope I'm able to do this review in ten minutes if not, I'll have to add a second part. Um, one of the things about the game is the fact that they actually got an orchestra in to do the music, and the music on the game is absolutely superb, so I'm just going to shut up for a few seconds and just let you listen to it. So there we go, that was a bit of the music. 
The way the gravity works is actually pretty damn cool and special on the game because you'd think that you'd end up getting seasick or something by walking upside down and all the controls changing but to be honest personally that doesn't happen to me so I don't know maybe I'm just immune to it or something like that. Either way though you'll end up walking all over these planets all the time you'll uh, be going upside down left to right and all sorts your controls will be constantly reversing but it is so easy to get used to and it's, ver it's like rarely a hindrance it's only like ever a hindrance when an enemy knocks you down backwards and all of a sudden you end up moving the wrong way but even then most of the planets are, like it's impossible to die on them if you know what I mean like you can die off the enemies obviously but you can't run and jump off the edge because the, the way the gravity works you just jump around to another part of the planet so there are ones where the, uh, you notice the one that I was just on there there's a bit of a black hole in the centre and that's because the planet has been completely smashed up so therefore I would be able to die if I just walked into the edge but the likes of this no matter where you go no matter how far you fly you won't fall off the edge of this planet so it's again it kind of makes the game a little easier but at the same time it's a necessity towards the way the game works and personally I think Super Mario Galaxy 2 can't come out soon enough as well as all sorts of things as I say there's these little boss battles and these ones here this this is the first one you encounter you basically just have to go around and hit this thing onto his head so that's that but before I run out of time I did say I'd show you another couple of the galaxies so I'm just going to cut into one of them now so there we go then this is one of the ghost galaxies uh, as you can see the Goombas now have pumpkins on their heads uh, very quickly while I'm here, the usual jumps make a return, so for instance if you hold the Z button down and push jump you'll do one, if you run, push Z and jump you'll do one, if you turn around and quickly jump, so all the typical jumps have returned pretty much, pretty much the only new move are the likes of them spins, which you can jump and do a spin as well. Again, press for time, so I'll just show you a couple more of the galaxies very quickly, and I'll try and show you one of the uh, special Wii Mote Zapper Galaxy ones as well. So there we go then, this is some Luigi, just thought I'd show him, as you'd expect, he's like on all the Mario games, he slides more than, Lu than Mario when you try and stop, he jumps a bit further and longer. This is one of the many suits on the game, I really wish I could show them all, but I'll just have to describe them. This one's basically a B one, it allows you to fly a little bit, you can get fly fire flower ones, where when you do that little flick then it throws a fireball. You can get ice ones, so that you can walk on water, because it just freezes them underneath you. I really wish I could show everything, but I don't think anyone would be interested in a 45 minute review, so I'm just going to cut them on the other galaxies now, and show you as much as I can do in 10 minutes. So here we go then, this is the uh, one of the Wii Remote ones, basically you hold the Wii Remote upright and then you just tilt it. There's also a Manta Rear Surfing where you tilt it left to right to control your rear and there's ones where you just point with a star and you just point and click constantly so you point from star to star to star. The second star on the screen is the two player mode of the game and basically all you can do with that is you can get your friend to collect stars for you or you can also get your friend to just hold enemies for you so you can crush them or something like that. So it's something you might enjoy with a little kid brother or if you're a casual gamer but if you consider yourself a real gamer it just makes the game a hell of a lot easier than it already is so you might want to be doing that. So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there. And don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.